So, welcome back. This is another StarMade podcast. This is Do You Even StarMade? Episode 2. Uh, tonight I am with Atrus, Kinzet, and Scooter, and we are going to be looking at five topics today. So, <clears throat> thanks for tuning in on the SoundCloud and watching on the YouTube, and thanks for watching this one live if you're on uh, Twitch TV today. Obviously, we do do this live and then later on, so you can check it out if you missed the uh, missed the show. We're going to be discussing five topics today: mobs, weapons update, logic discussion, Q and A announcement for Sunday, this upcoming Sunday, the twentieth uh, of April, and then obviously we're going to talk a little bit about the new planets. Uh, plan to rotate the uh, guest speakers with me, so hopefully we should have a varied co-hosting. Um, and yeah, so welcome everybody. Just want to introduce everyone. So say hello, Atrus. Hello. Say hello, Kinzet. Hello. And say hello, Scooter. G'day. And just going round in the same order. Where are you guys from? State or country is fine. Uh, I'm in Detroit. Kinzet. Canada, Ontario. Uh, Scooter. Australia. Australia. So we've got a nice, nice wide base there. I'm obviously in the UK. Um, <clears throat> just quickly, roughly how many months have you been playing StarMade, each of you? Uh, this is Atrus, uh, I've been uh, playing for about uh, a little over half a year. Yep. Kinza? About three to four months now. And Scuba? Three to four months. Three to four months, okay. Well, just for a bit of, uh, you know, I've only been playing it for about ten, maybe eleven tops. Probably about ten months now. Uh, but yeah, let's move on into the uh, first section. So we're going to talk a little bit about mobs. Obviously we know we're g they're going to be procedurally generated and the uh, spawning panel is in already. Uh, what do you guys want to say about that? I like, I don't know if it's uh, true, but I heard that uh, you could put in your own uh, mobs as well. Uh, kind of like the ships people can create their own different mobs and share them? Well, I know that they come in three pieces. Maybe it's two pieces. Um, and I know they've all got animations. So, as far as I'm aware, I suppose that's possible, but it's not confirmed, so I don't know. All I know is that there are plans for a huge number of additional models, which will be, as you say, procedurally put together, uh, according to where you are in the universe. Um, anybody else got anything to add there? Because uh, they might act, uh, come in different sizes. Okay, different sizes. Yeah, that's an interesting one. Yeah, it's interesting actually, just having them uh, instead just of have have just having them, have bigger ones. Same <laughs> same size. They could be multiple sizes. Yeah, yeah. Big okay. and small. So model scaling. Interesting. It's an interesting. That would question. make it. Uh... That'd make it seem a lot more real. Well, it would be quite scary if suddenly you came round and there's this giant crawler. You know, that's pretty cool. Um, Scooter, any questions on that? I think it'd be interesting to see something like the slug out of the Star Wars. Oh, right, yeah. The asteroid slugs. Yeah, the asteroid slugs, so really big stuff, I guess, you are thinking. It might eat your core ship. <laughs> um... Well, I find it's really interesting. I, I mean, I can't wait to see how they react, you know, when they actually start to move around. Because at the moment, obviously, they're fixed when she spawn them. I mean, I've seen them react a little bit if you shoot them. Um, sometimes they'll sort of skitter around, which is really cool. So, I do like that. I can't wait to see them. The first one's actually really awesome. So, it'd be interesting to see how it is implemented, you know. Probably have people trying to farm them and keep them aged up mm. poachers <laughs> like keep them in the cage my pretty that's it, you will have a pet <laughs> it would be nice a actually zoo. to be able to buy like you can buy the crew you could buy them oh have tame ones? yeah, that would be an interesting thing so you could have like a ship's pet that was like a tamed crawler nice that's an interesting or a one. mobile zoo mobile zoo, yeah, very, very true. Because, I mean, if you can control five AIs, maybe you could have four AIs and a pet, you know, so it doesn't break anything. <laughs> I don't know. It's interesting. 
Uh, didn't you guys do like a video with uh, the initial uh, mobs? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Uh, it was it was really fun. Uh, they do kind of react, you know, because they use the same AI. So, but obviously they don't have guns. <laughs> so they just kind of run up to you menacingly. <laughs> so, but yeah, I, I uh, can't just wait switch for out. That. Uh, just switch out their. Uh, um their block, uh, I don't know, their block spacing for like lava and ha mm. if they get real close they damage like they're attacking. Well e even if they just spawned on planets in, gen in generation and then only moved when they were, you know, poked <laughs> or shot, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how that gets fleshed out, definitely. Okay, well, I mean that's pretty much everything for uh, the uh, discussion on mobs. So, we're going to move on addition, to. Oh, yeah, carry on, yeah. We could have more, um, a mobs that could be launched or dropped from ships that would be like the buzz droids from the Star Wars series again and cling onto ships and start wrecking it. Sounds like a bio weapon to me. Because <laughs> obviously, these things are alive unless we get procedurally generated robot race. You never know. We just don't know at this point because they're all models that could be anything they want, you know. So yeah, that's interesting. Okay, in that case, I'm going to move on to the weapons update. Um, we obviously know that linking systems have been worked on recently, um, but there is much speculation and uh, much hype. Um, I know I want to talk about the beam laser today, but uh, obviously if you guys want to talk about weapons, go ahead because, you know, that's what we're here for. Yeah, I can't wait until uh, this all that stuff comes out. Uh, the interesting combinations they have, like the uh, artillery cannons and just cluster missiles and just everything, the mine layers, just awesome. Mm. Certainly those new weapon systems are definitely what I want to talk about. Um, definitely, like, because lasers, everyone loves lasers in sci-fi. So, yeah. It's going to be nice Everybody's to have something else to go to other than the AMC. I know that there's lots of combinations coming, and I am hyped about that, but just the diversity of having actual different categories, you know, of weapon. So, that's why I'm hyped. Everybody's going to put a giant Kamehameha in their ship. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be like, yeah, every ship's hyper gonna have mega giant wave laser. cannon, activate. <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see what people come up with for sure. Um, Kinza, you got any thoughts about the uh, new weapons update? Obviously, we don't know when it's coming, but uh, you know, go ahead. Uh, the linking of the guns together to create different types of guns. Yeah. That that'll definitely produce not just Kamehameha's, but pretty. You'll never truly know what that ship's loadout's going to really be. Right now, you're still at that point, but still. Once you've seen them fire once, it's sort of okay. They've got AMCs. Hmm. It's they've got AMCs. What type of AMCs do they have? Yeah, you won't know. Do they have shotgun yeah. type AMCs, or what? What? What did they link to their AMCs to create what type of effect? Yeah, it's going to add a lot of variety to the game for sure. Because, like you said, would definitely. Uh... Yeah, it makes Go for it. It, sorry, I was just going to say, like that's a big thing in PvP, in not being able to know instantly what it is that you're shooting at or being shot by. I was like, sorry, it's going to be a big deal. And having uh, multiple weapon systems of the same, like you could have AMCs but different subtypes. Having multiple weapon systems like that will uh, come into play as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, scooter. We could have um, sort of bomb attachable sticky bombs that could be fired and stuck to a ship and detonate after a certain time. Um, is that like in the actual grid? Because we're keeping it to what's in the plans. I oh, think it might be. Is it? Is that one of There's the something lines? like that? Yeah. Oh, okay, uh, fair enough. I didn't see telling that. Telling us one. like the uh, like sleeper missiles. 
Or you could lay them and they'll stay in an area until somebody comes yeah. near and then they'll chase them. Maybe that is actually one of the combinations, I don't know. So, interesting. Okay, fair enough. Because I'm not against suggestions, it's just a lot of them have been really well thought out by this point. So, get your suggestions up if they're not already. Um, okay, well that's pretty much the end of the weapons update discussion for this uh, part of the podcast, so we're going to move on to the logic discussion section. Now, it's a bit of a grey area for everybody, because I know that most people haven't even had a chance to look at it yet, um, but we have been putting up various bits and pieces on the channel, um, and there's a few videos explaining the basics and showing a few logic systems, and I'm really interested to see what people are coming up with. So. I'd like to know what you guys have got. Any uh, mad scientist ideas to build? Atris? Oh, I, I can't wait to see it because uh, I was huge into the uh, redstone on Minecraft. So, and this, apparently you were telling us this is going to be like that, but so much cleaner, simpler, and powerful. Yeah, it definitely is uh, I just is can't clear. wait. It, yeah, I'm just doing the mad scientist hand, <laughs> hand ringing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, Kinza, what, do you have any plans for anything? Uh, creating a, an entire maze so that you have wall doors opening and closing. You have to try to m go through a maze a of shifting opening maze. and doors, awesome. shifting maze yeah, to definitely. try to get the one from maze. one side to the other. Shifting maze is definitely an interesting. There'd be maze. nothing but plex doors. Yeah, see, this yeah. is the thing. The creativity is going to explode because you're going to have this layer of automation, which is going to add a lot, maze. a lot to your builds. That and the puzzle ship that you had. Oh, the puzzle cube's definitely getting an overhaul. It will be <laughs> much more challenging and much easier to play because you won't have to, you know, I'll put areas in everywhere. You just have to jump about and it will make things reveal instead. <laughs> It's going to be great. Let's just everybody give out their most evil laugh right now. That, that. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So, I mean, uh, who else? Has anyone... I couldn't scoot though. Have you uh, got a chance to... I have indeed. I am making blast shields on a ship that I'm currently building. Ah, very nice. Very nice. Blast shields is yeah. definitely a good one. I mean, it will also you be could fear yep. to see people building landing gear like they have before. Instead of running it through the length of the ship, they could have yes. activation blocks. Yes. yes, exactly. I mean, I must admit, the transformer I built, I thought I could do a much more animated transformation sequence because it doesn't all have to go in one section, and I don't have to worry about them touching each other. You know. Oh yeah, because you can link it, right? Yeah, doesn't, even if it, you know, you don't activate the whole group. That's why it's a good thing it doesn't activate the whole group, because it means you can do pixel animation and use the delay blocks as your timeline. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna, somebody's gonna make a mech moonwalk. I know, right? <clears throat> it's actually doable if you plan it right. If you're clever, you can do it. Um, but there, yeah, so that is pretty much where we're at for logic discussion. Obviously, if you didn't know, there are videos up on this. Lots of people have been covering them. They are activation, not, or, and, delay. You also have the, um, you also have the area activation controller and the area block. And also the footplate switch, which is another one. And they will activate weapons, as you can, you know, as you can see if you go and check out those videos. <laughs> uh, there's been a few, few videos on that. So that's pretty much coming up to the end of the logic discussion section. So now I'm just quickly going to take the time to announce the Q and A. Uh, there is a dev Q and A planned for the 20th of April. Uh, we do not know the time yet, so make sure you go on Stardock and check that out. Make sure to go on the uh, Twitter feed for StarMade. I'm pretty sure it's going to be announced because it is a dev Q&A this time. Uh, and like I say, Calviri will be there. I expect many members of the dev team will be present. We're uh, hoping a lot of people can show up. And um, 
hopefully it should be good. We're not sure what the announcement is yet, but usually when they when you have an announcement like this, it's going to be interesting. So make sure to take the time to come and check that out this coming Sunday. Um, and I don't want to linger on that for too long, so I think a minute's long enough. Um, just make sure to, if you've got the time Sunday, to go check it out. Obviously you can watch the stream later, so if you get home from work and it's finished, just go onto the stream. It will be linked on our channel wherever it gets hosted, and you can watch it later. So, there you go, in the past broadcast section on that channel. So, finally we're going to move on to the uh, wrap-up section, which is going to be New Planets. So I'm, I've said already enough about new planets, so I'm going to go through and let what you, see what you guys have to say about them. So, Atris, take it away. Uh, I'm building like my own uh, fake planet right now. Okay. Uh, Spaceball, planet Spaceball, but uh, yep, yep. Uh, I would like to be able to um, either capture a planet and build off of that, or uh, just just for the gravity, or have like some way to artificially create that uh, multi-directional gravity so um, from like the dodecahedron have like on each side oh, has its own gravity field right right so in other words you're asking for uh, persistent gravity on a ta on an on where so when you cross from one entity to another you would change gravity yeah pretty much mm -hmm. a way to uh, do that uh, well with like a station or something you can do that, it. that's me you can do it um, but you need to put a lot of area activation blocks down um, ah okay but you can do it like for example if you put a core a station core in space and then you whack a turret a turret docks on it and then put loads of turrets around and slightly organize slightly move them so that they're going all the way around in a sphere oh i see what you're saying like each, each like, section uh, would just be like a the turret, planet yeah. yeah just like the planets and then um you have a gravity block on each plate just like the planets and then you'd have an area activation controller to that gravity block and then you put all the way around each plate that area you know the area uh, trigger. That's a pretty good idea. And then, like I say, it would work just the same when you walk from one plate to the ne from one off one turret to the next turret. You would change into the gravity of that turret, and it would work. My only other uh, idea is like I'm going to have to completely re overhaul my uh, a planet eaters uh, built. Oh, why is that? Oh, just because. Uh, uh, I was making. I've been making a planet eater that would uh, was the length of the disc planets, and all I, I had to do was hit X and it rotate underneath the thing and just eat it. Huh. But uh, with a more cute or more uh, sphere-like planet that would uh, change, especially with the core. I don't know if the beams will salvage beams will go through the core or not. Hmm, I don't think they will. You'll strip it down to the magma core, I think. <clears throat> I think that's pretty much how that would work. I have to build a giant Pac-Man that eats the planet whole and that salvages it all together. <laughs> nice. So anybody else? Uh, Kinzer, got anything to say we'll about these? We'll probably new have um, a lot more uh, probably designs of uh, underground bases. Yeah. They'll probably start cropping up a lot more because with this planet, it's sort of kind of, yeah, you build your thing, someone just comes from the bottom and pretty much destroys you. But with this new planet, because they're more spherical, you could dig in to one side, they would have to attack you from that side, thus turrets would be more effective to defend your entrance to your base mm. than what is currently because right now if you build a inside a planet you have to try to defend it from all sides right right instead of just defending it from pretty much the main side that you built it on interesting that's a good point it would create it, it would also allow people who uh, are fans of games like fallout to create uh, um underground vaults bunkers the bunkers nice. with blast doors nice so, 
people are going to be building more on planets then by the sounds of it <laughs> yeah probably yeah so anybody got anything else to say about the planets before we wrap up I think it's a different idea from other voxel based games that are flat grounded for example Minecraft yeah where it's just yeah. mainly flat ground flat ground um the different sides of the planet could have a one player per side if it's a large enough faction. So there's that. Are you saying like the plates have biomes? Uh, or just the whole planet? User, a certain user could build their base on one plate and another user could build theirs on another plate instead of them all building them on the same planet. Hmm. I've heard that building off one plate and going all the way around is an interesting thing. You can make orbital rings quite easily. Build a giant sphere around a planet. <laughs> Armor. Shield worlds. And trigger it all with the activation. Druidia. <laughs> druidia. druidia. Yeah, Druidia. That's what Create they had. Create Druidia. Wow. And then we need that Hoover mech. So well, there you go. definitely get a lot more role playing out of them. My my capital ship right now that I'm building might uh, might be the start of Spaceball One. <laughs> 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 right. Well. Okay. So I want to thank Atrius, Kinzet, Scooter. Please, uh, thank you very much for joining. And thanks for having uh, us. Welcome back. No problem. Uh, thanks for having us. Yeah. Anytime, guys. And thanks again to everybody watching on the YouTube, Twitch, or listening on SoundCloud. And uh, like I say, there's going to be a lot more of these episodes coming out on a regular basis. So look forward to more Do You Even Star Made, the podcast, in future very soon. So hit that follow, subscribe, like, share, all the buttons. Hit all the buttons and you won't miss another episode. I would like to point out finally that the server has successfully moved to a new permanent server with a greatly increased performance and uh, like I say it's got higher capacity now and uh, it's a lot of fun so be sure to come and check that out uh, it's www.mushroomfleet.co.uk just come down and uh, yeah join on so to everybody who is here thank you again to everybody that's watching thanks again once more we will see you all next time see ya later see you.